While the Great Pyramid of Giza is the first wonder you'd probably think of, did you know that there was another wonder of the world that calls Egypt its home? Built around 2,200 years ago during the reign of Ptolemy II, the Lighthouse of Alexandria for centuries was one of the tallest man-made structures in the world, taller than the Empire State Building. Despite multiple earthquakes, this wonder was the third longest surviving, holding on way up until 1480. The lighthouse stood tall for the better part of a millennia, so it's no surprise that this wonder has many stories to tell, before and after its fall. The Lighthouse of Alexandria has a ton of familiar names if you've been following our series. Plans and funding for the lighthouse started after the death of Alexander the Great, with Ptolemy I Soter becoming king in 305 BCE. It would take 12 years to build, which by then Ptolemy I would also pass away in 282 BCE. His son Ptolemy II would be the one to see the end of this massive decade-long project. The height of the lighthouse potentially measured up to 118 meters, that's taller than the Statue of Liberty, and stood on a 30 meter by 30 meter base. The tower was made mostly using limestone and granite, and rather than the sleeper lighthouses you see today, the Tower of Alexandria was made up of three tiers, a square tier at the base, an octagonal tower in the middle, and a circular tower at the top. The lighthouse was functional too, with a furnace at the top powering the light that guided ships during the night. During the day, a mirror was used to reflect sunlight out to sea. Roman coins would show the tower, with a statue of Triton, the god of the sea, adorning the four corners of the tower, with a statue of Poseidon or Zeus standing at the top. As mentioned earlier, this lighthouse would stand for about a millennia, with centuries of writers recording their experiences with the wonder. However, this doesn't mean that it was completely smooth sailing for the wonder. With many of our other wonders, the Lighthouse of Alexandria would have to face a series of disasters during its time standing. This time around, this wonder of the world had to face many earthquakes. An earthquake in 796 CE would cause the lighthouse to partially crack. More damage was done during an earthquake in 951. The top 20 meters of the tower would collapse in 956. The Crete earthquake of 1303 would cause the most damage. The only parts of the lighthouse still standing by this time were the square tower and the entrance ramp. A final earthquake in 1323 would be the final nail in the coffin, with the last remaining stones being used to build the citadel of Cape Bay in 1480. The remains of the tower would be lost for about 700 years until the 20th century when archaeologists would start giving descriptions of the submerged ruins. People like Gaston Jonder and Raymond Whale in 1916, as well as Sir Leopold Halliday Saville in 1940. The lighthouse was finally rediscovered in 1968, after a team of marine archaeologists led by Honor Frost found the existence of ruins representing part of the lighthouse. More remains were found in 1994 by French archaeologist Jean-Yves Empereur and his team, where the lighthouse would be photographed for the very first time by cinematographer Asma al Bakri. Jean-Yves' team would spend the next year photographing, cataloging, and mapping the over 3,000 pieces found on the floor of Alexandria's Eastern Harbor. Today, you can now even go diving to see the ruins for yourself. And since 1978, there have been proposals to rebuild the Wonder, including a proposal to build a skyscraper where the tower once stood. The Lighthouse of Alexandria has many stories to tell over the many centuries, but one of the most significant is how much modern technology can uncover the past in a way we could have never imagined before, be it secret passages found in the Great Pyramid of Giza, rediscovering the ruins of ancient wonders, even the discovery of wonders we once thought to be just myth. We are currently living in an exciting time where really anything is possible, where we are finally uncovering the secrets of legends from many, many lifetimes ago.